What's going on guys, Alex and uh, welcome to a new car tutorial. It's completely dark outside because like the winter is coming so it's, so it's gonna get dark really early. This may be like a good topic about it. How to use your car lights correctly because there's, you have so many options like what light do I have to use in this situation and that one and that one. So I'm gonna run through all the lights you have on your car. Make sure you drive safely and without further ado, let's jump right into it. One, did it beam lights? Also called low passing or meeting beam. Headlamps provide a light distribution to give adequate forward lateral illumination without dazzling other road users with excessive glare. This beam is specified for use whenever other vehicles are present ahead. 2. The turn signals. Formally called directional indicators or directional signals and informally known as directionals, blinkers, indicators or flashers are blinking lamps mounted near the left and right front and rear corners of a vehicle and sometimes on the sides. Activated by the driver on one side of the vehicle at a time to advertise intent to turn or change lanes toward that side. 3. The high beam lights. High beam, main beam, driving beam, full beam. Headlamps provide a bright, center-weighted distribution of light with no particular control of light directed towards other road users' eyes. As such, they are only suitable for use when alone on the road, as the glare they produce will dazzle other drivers. 4. The fog lights. Back four lamps provide a wide bar-shaped beam of light with a sharp cutoff at the top and are generally aimed and mounted low. They may produce wide or selective red light and are intended to use for use at low speed to increase the illumination directed towards the road surface and verges in conditions of poor visibility due to rain, fog, dust or snow. 5. The Hazard Lights also called hazards, hazard warning flashes, simply flashers. International regulations require vehicles to be equipped with a control which, when activated, flashes the left and the right directional signals, front and rear, all at the same time. In phase operation of the hazard, flashers must be from a control independent of the turn signal control, and a audiovisual telltale must be provided to the driver. 6. The Brake Lights Red steady burning rear lights, brighter than the rear position lamps, are activated when the driver applies the vehicle's brakes. They are called stop lamps in some countries and brake lights in others. They are required to be fitted in multiples of two symmetrically at the left and right edges of the rear of every vehicle. International UN regulations specify a range of acceptable intensity of a stop lamp of 60 to 185 candela in North America where the UN regulations aren't recognized. The acceptable range for a single compartment stop lamp is 80 to 300 candela. Okay guys, that's the tutorial for today. There's a new car tutorial coming next week on Thursday, 1 p.m. PST, 10 p.m. CET, so 10 p.m. my time. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe down below for more car tutorials. Thumbs up down below, it's always appreciated. Every Thursday at 1 p.m. there's a car tutorial coming for you guys. And uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.